Hey guys, I got a question from someone who watched my Google uh, Sheets stock portfolio video and they said, hey, this whole sheet that you built is in US dollar and US dollar stocks. How would I build something similarly if I had a portfolio with stocks that were from different countries listed on different exchanges, they're in other currencies other than the US dollar. So that's what this video is going to be about. And let's just start off with this example portfolio of, it's like eight of the world's largest companies. For each one of them, I put in their actual stock ticker symbol right here. And then I also put in their stock exchange code. Now, these codes have to be perfect. And you can see I've got a list of all the supported exchanges over here. There's like 50 of them or so that Google Sheets has. The thing is, uh, you can look at the list of all the supported stock exchanges, but then you need to make sure you find out which currency code to use. And so I just took a list of maybe like the top nine or so most popular, most heavily traded stock exchanges and dropped them into their own table over here and put in their currency code. So if you're using any of these, you can see the currency code you need right there. So let's just get started pricing the first one, which is uh, S&P. So you're just going to use that uh, Google Finance formula. So equals Google Finance. And then I'll, I'll blow this up. So the first thing you need is the ticker. And so when it's listed on a, on a different exchange, the first thing you actually have to do is you got to do uh, put a quotation mark and then put the actual exchange code like this FRA here. And then you can use semicolon and then you'll have to put the company's ticker SAP like that. And then once you've done that, you can do comma. And then now we're in the attribute section. And really all I'm interested in here is just the price. So let's just uh, drop the price in there. And so that actually tells me what is the price of SAP stock um, in uh, euros here. So I can tell it's euros because that's the FRA exchange. But what I actually want to do is make a formula that I can just drag down and pull in all the prices. So I want a dynamic formula. So instead of hard coding FRA in there and typing it that way, I'm just going to reference uh, this cell here, FRA. Let's do and put the semicolon. So I'm just concatenating. So it's, it's going to end up saying the same thing as it said before, but it's just going to be able to be dragged down. So right there, that's our price in the base currency of euros. Now I can just highlight this range, control C to copy, and then I'll hit uh, paste formulas only. So now we've got the prices of each of these stocks in their base currency. So for example, if we looked at um, the Toronto Dominion Bank, that's on the um, TSE exchange, which is in uh, CAD, right? So let's convert all of these actually to US dollar. And we can do that by finding the USD equivalent. So these first two, uh, New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, they're both just going to be one because they're both in USD. But now let's actually write a dynamic formula that we can use to convert each of these currencies into US dollar. So I'm just going to type equals Google Finance once again. Um, so for this time, we actually have to put currency first. So I'm just going to put currency in all caps and close that quotation mark. And then the next thing I would do is put in, uh, I think I have to drop a semicolon there. And then we have to do, if we wanted to type it out this way, we could type JPY USD. And that should tell me um, the exchange rate from JPY to USD. So if I sold one single JPY, I would get one penny of USD. So what I actually want to do now is just close this and make it dynamic once again so i can just grab the jpy oops so i'm going to put the and symbol so again we're concatenating and then put another and and then i'm going to type usd like that and hit enter and then i'm going to copy with Control c and then i'm going to paste this formula all the way down for paste formula only there we go and so this tells me for each of these currencies, how much can I exchange one of these currencies for to US dollar? Like you can see for Euro, I actually end up with more dollars than I did Euros because one Euro is worth more than one dollar. Okay, so now that we have that, we can convert all of these prices into what would this uh, stock actually cost in US dollar? 
So let's just take equals uh, V lookup. So this is how we're going to look up the value of this company's currency uh, in US dollars. So the search key is we're just going to look for this, um, the stock exchange there. And then now for the range, we're just going to grab this range right here. And I'm going to hit F4 to make these dollar signs lock in that range. So when I drag this formula down, the range does not move. Okay, comma. And we want the third column in this range. So that's what this index is. So one, two, three. So I'll put three. And then I'm just going to do comma zero because we want an exact match. So now if I hit enter, we can see that what that does is it pulls in that 111 that this FRA has in euros right there. Okay, so 111. So if I take that 111 and multiply it by the actual price in the base currency, I figure out that it actually cost me $134.84 per share to buy this stock in USD. So hit uh, Control C to copy, highlight the whole range, right click, and then I will paste formulas only. Okay, so now we just need to find the value of the total position, which is going to be really easy we'll just take the price per stock in usd and we'll multiply it by the number of shares and hit enter uh we'll let it autofill actually no i'll copy Control c that messed up my formatting and then i'll right click paste special formula only and there we go and if i want to see the total value of my whole portfolio i can just sum up all those values there and i've got a quarter million dollar portfolio so um if you guys want this file you can check the link in this description for free and i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like it thank you